In videos 1 and 2 of this series, you saw the VBA that was used in our sample RSView32 project and learned that VBA is not brought over into Factory Talk View SE when a project is migrated. In this chapter, we'll take a closer look at the VBA code and show you how portions of it can be reused in View SE. This example should give you a good start at understanding how to convert your RSView32 VBA over to View SE. Let's recap the differences between VBA in RSView32 and Factory Talk View SE. In View32, VBA code executes on the server and does not have exposure to any of the graphical objects on clients. Most VBA functionality in RSView32 is based on the manipulation of HMI tags. In View SE, VBA code executes independently on the client side of the application, and client graphical objects are exposed. VBA functionality is based on events from these graphical objects, such as button clicks or changing number displays. It is also possible to create tag groups that can manipulate HMI tags, as you can do in RSView32. But you have to create and destroy the groups programmatically. Let's take a look at our demo RSView32 project. We'll open the tank detail display in our project and put it into test run mode. When it starts, you can see that the tank selected is zero and most of the display fields are blank. We select a tank by clicking on one of these buttons. Once you select a tank, the display fields show information about that tank. I'll stop test mode on the display. Now, let's explore the VBA code behind this display. If we double-click the Tank 1 button, we can see the command associated with it. As you can see, the button is calling the VBA procedure Show Tank Data and passing it the selected tank number. Now, let's open the VBA editor and look at the code. We looked at this same code in video number 2 in this series, so we'll just recap what it's doing here. If we look at the show tank data subroutine, we see the tank number is passed in from the button command. Following the code, we can see that there is some error handling. We can also see that the code uses the global object gtagdb. This object gives VBA access to HMI tags in RSView32. You read and write to the HMI tags using the value parameter. The first thing done in the subroutine is to clear the status line value. If the loading of the tank data is successful, a success message is written to the status line. Otherwise, an error message is written to the status line. What happens next is that the load tank info function is called. Let's see what that function does. It is located in the tank data manipulation module. Before we look at that module, let's take a quick look at the HMI tags in the RSView32 tag database. You can see that all the tags in the tank detail subfolder are HMI memory tags, while all the tags in the tank detail 01, 02, and 03 subfolders are linked to the controller. Now we'll close the tag database and return to the VBA editor to look at the tank data manipulation module. Again, we have some error handling. Next, we see that for each tank data point, a temporary variable is built to represent the controller tag name for the data point. gtagdb is then used to read the controller tag value and assign it to the appropriate tank detail HMI memory tag. Once the values are written to the HMI tags, a message is written to the RSView32 activity log. There is a separate procedure used to do this, write activity log view32. We won't look at this code right now because it cannot be used in view SE. So that's a quick summary of the VBA code in this RS view32 project. Our goal is to move this project to Factory Talk view SE. Since VBA code is not migrated automatically, we will need to export all the VBA code so we can manually add it to our VueSE project. To do this, we right-click on the component in the VBA editor and select Export File. 
For our project, there are two components that we'll need. So we'll do this twice for this project and tank data manipulation. And now we can close RS View 32 Works. In the next chapter, we'll import the VBA we just exported into our Factory Talk View SE project.